course, Facebook pops up and I'm reading these alerts. Hey, Andy from Estella's Revenge here. It's been a while. Um, I have hair again. Last you saw, I was getting bald. Where I dropped off with BookTube, I was getting my head shaved for St. Baldrick's Foundation. Did that on August 2nd. Loved it. It lasted about two months. This is about two months worth of hair growth for me. Um, so the first time that I shaved it, I very quickly loved it and uh, let it grow back a couple of months back to like pixie length and then a very quickly shaved it off again. Um, so yes, I have shaved my head twice now and I love it and I will most likely shave it again. So where have I been? What have I been doing? I basically stopped reading from August of 2016 until December because the absolutely fucking ridiculous American election cycle. I have no words. As you might imagine, I am not a Donald Trump supporter. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, so I had the life sucked out of me from August to December. And then I just got fucking angry and have started doing a fair bit of activism. Um, calling my representatives all the damn time until they're sick of me and I'm going to the Women's March on Austin, Texas this weekend because I couldn't swing the scratch to go to DC and so yep me and my husband are marching on Austin. What else? I've been teaching a lot. I had gone back to teaching I do believe before I dropped off the face of the earth. I am teaching for three institutions of higher education. Um, my alma mater another university and then an online class for a university and so as you might imagine there's a bit of juggling to be done with work um in addition to that my son is six he's getting into everything he has a social life he is a cub scout and so he's often super busy and running around all over the place doing stuff because i needed one more thing to do of course why not i started an etsy sticker shop if you're into planner stickers, I have an Etsy sticker shop. And of course, there are book stickers. There are book sticker kits. There are individual book sticker reading trackers and stuff like that. And I'm always adding more to that. So the Etsy shop is wreckingballdesign.etsy.com. I will list it down below. Um, what else? That's enough, right? Terrible world politics. Work. Family. More work. That's pretty much it. Um, I am back to reading. I'm reading several books at the moment. The first of which is The Turner House by Angela Flournoy and that is awesome. Um, it is about a family in Detroit and so a family of 13 children and their parents and their story with time flip-flops and multiple narrators and again usually not my thing but Angela Flournoy does it so well so very well and I love the narrative voice I love all the characters and their various perspectives and there's like a supernatural element but is it true or is it just one of the one of the characters kind of losing his marbles that whole thing it's charming and fabulous and wonderful and I love it The Turner House by Angela Flournoy like the rest of the politically engaged world I'm reading Hope in the Dark by Rebecca Solnit <sighs> Who couldn't use some hope, right? I know I could. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm about 75 pages in and it's getting a little bit repetitive. Like the real takeaway from this is focus on the long game in your activism because it takes forever to make change and be hopeful because it could be a big thing that makes a difference. It could be a little thing that sparks a big thing that makes a difference. Have hope, be hopeful make waves. I'm listening to, what is the name of this book? Um, Searching for Sunday, Finding, Leaving, Loving, Leaving, and Finding the Church, something like that. Sorry, Rachel Held Evans, that is the author. She is amazing. I have found since election time that I am very interested in being more spiritually engaged. And mostly having a better understanding of how to engage my fellow Christians in meaningful conversation about, you know, 
equality and diversity and all that. Gender, um, race, all the things. All the important things that we're talking about. Feminism, women's rights, um, you know, traditional gender roles. Just all that stuff that we're taught in church. I'm interested in talking about all of it and reading books about all of it. It's refreshing because I have never seen myself and my concerns about social justice reflected in my church. And so I'm really enjoying that. Listening to it on audiobook has been magical because she is an excellent reader. She's very passionate about what she has to say about the church and evangelicalism and all that. So I'm learning a lot from that. And I'll probably be back with a full review of that because it's so good. So I hope you're all having a great day. I will see you soon. Bye.